Hey everyone, it's Marco here, back once again from my color screen, bringing you the latest and greatest Android home screen tutorials. Today's video tutorial is on an extremely popular screen of the day called LCD by Z3U5. Why is it so popular? Well, as you can see in the background and right over here, it's extremely, extremely original and different and what can I say? It's LCD. It's that old school effect right on your phone. The first screen of the setup comes with a beautiful UCCW widget that's got your time, your weather, your battery, all in a neat little widget and it looks really cool with its LCD effect. And below that it's got all your quick icons that you need to get to and beneath that it is your dock. Looking at your second page is your applications page but in the middle it's got that very handy toggle settings that you can toggle, you can turn on your Wi-Fi on and off as well as your mobile data, GPS, etc, etc. This home screen is crazy popular on the Facebook and my color screen communities so I just had to make a video tutorial. Let us begin. Alrighty, now one quick thing I want to point out is that this is doable on Nova Launcher and Apex Launcher. Unfortunately, you can't have your icon, your icon labels at the bottom to have that cool LCD effect like the one here. If, so if you really want a simple launcher, I recommend going for Go Launcher. I'm not going to do it with Go Launcher, just for the simple fact that it's not one of my favorite launchers as I always stick to either Nova Launcher or SS Launcher and switch between the two. So. What did I do? Well, I did it in SS Launcher. So I'm going to be showing you how to do it in SS Launcher, but don't worry, you can still, like I said, do it in Nova Launcher as well as Go Launcher. Go Launcher will be easier just because you can do it pretty much set up like this, as well as include your LCD icon labels. So let's move on to SS Launcher. Alrighty, starting from a stock SS Launcher, if you've got any widgets on your screen, you can just drag them into the bin above. You just hold them down and then drag them in. So once you got rid of all of them, we want to go into the back button and then into our theme. From here, we want to go into our label and then hide labels. As you can see, I've selected it there and then say apply changes. This will get rid of that home hot applications, the one that we see at the top there. Just get rid of that and it just helps the screen look a lot better. Great, and that's pretty much it. You don't have to hide. You can hide the notification bar there at the top if you want. You will find that in your preferences, but if not, this is pretty much your setup ready for the wallpaper. Great, so for the wallpaper, it's pretty easy to set up. You're just gonna hold down on the home screen, select wallpaper, and then you'll find it in your gallery or quick pick, whichever app you prefer. So from here, what I've done is create a custom one for your Nexus 4, so you don't have to worry about that. And there's two variants, one with a dock and one without, depending on which one you prefer. So the one here, I've selected the one with the dock, as that's the one that's shown in the home screen. And we just want to get these resize bars to be all the way. Great, so there we have the wallpaper set up ready for the widgets. Great, so for the widgets, we're going to start off with our UCCW one right here. We're just going to hold down, select new widget. And you want to go to that almighty app, the UCCW widget. Doesn't really matter which size you choose, but let's start off with something large like a 4x3. From here now, you're going to go open user. And then select the one that the, the LCD.uzip that's found in the folders that you need to download. So I'm just going to go yes, I've already imported it. Great, once you have it to a good size that you want, you want to select back now, brings up to all the screens that you can add or replace and you just want to go add in a new page, make sure that it's a cover page and call it anything you want. Once it's been created, it will appear at the bottom and now you just need to hold down and drag it all the way or wherever you, wherever you want it basically, just put it right next to this one. So it's going to look blank again. So now you want to add in your second widget. You're going to go new widget. And you're going to have to download the app called Elixir Widgets. And it's actually pretty cool. So we're going to select a 3x1 or 5 or five icons. Great, so you should get a screen looking like this with the 5 X's right there. So background, you want to select it and then go custom image just like that. And then in your image, you want to go into your file explorer. And if you go into your switch icons, you should find it here, it's called elixir background.png. You select it just like that and it'll have the icons right there. Great, so once you've got that, you wanna bump up the size of your icons and get rid of those labels if possible. Try and minimize the size and I know there's a way of getting rid of them, I just can't find them right now. So once you've got that, you wanna go select the little play button and then customize icons right there. Now this is quite a lot of admin. It's gonna, you're gonna have to take a while to change each one of the individual, like say Wi-Fi on and off and replace them just like that 
So what I have done for you, I have backed up my original one and what I've done is put it into the Dropbox folder located below in the description. So what you want to do there is copy that backup file, go into Android, then go into data, then go into com.bartat.android.elixir.keep, select that, select widget backup, and then select this one right here. It's 3 one underscore lcd underscore msc toggles data so select that and it should back it up for you but if not you're just gonna have to go the long way around by customizing by going here going add new select an icon pack going okay and then changing each one of these saving it and then just making sure you make a backup of that just in case you want to restore it later so once that's done you're just going to select the create and then that'll create the widget for you Great, so you should have your two widgets set up. There is your Elixir widget right there and there is your UCCW skin set up like that. Now, pretty much the final thing you wanna do is add in each one of the icons. But the unfortunate thing about SS Launcher is that you have to add them in individually. You can't just add them all, all at once and they change quite easily. So I'm gonna go, go through setting up one of them. We're just gonna go into holding down. We're gonna select new shortcut. If you go icons here and you go select, it'll import all of them that are in there. And then you want to do that again for your for your dock icons. So I've already imported them all, so that, that's why they've appeared over here. You can, as you can see, there's quite a few of them, which is great because you get quite a few options to choose from. So say you want to go for Facebook, we'll select Facebook right there. You want to go into or scroll all the way down and say apply settings. That is your icon done. Next, you just want to change your title. So you want to select title, select your text, and you can call it now whatever you want. That's a great thing about using SS Launcher. So once you've got Facebook set up, you want to select OK. That is your font done. Font size, I think 14 is a bit too large. I went for an 11. It worked out pretty well. Gonna go OK. Now for your font family, as you can see, there's not really much here, but it's quite easy to add a font. You just want to select add a font and then you can find the font where you've copied it onto your phone and just say import or just select it and it'll now appear over here. So you want to use the one called pixel LCD-7, selecting it like that. Finally, the last thing in your text settings, you just want to change the color now. So we're just going to go into text color. I've posted the exact colors on the side here, but it's pretty much just a yellowy dark color right there. It's quite dark, so go OK, go, go apply settings, apply settings, and it is done. Remember, if the, the distance between your text and your icon is a bit too small, you can always change in your padding settings, well, the, the alignment just to get it a bit lower than that. So that's pretty much one down and you want to keep on doing that for the rest of the icons. Now, not, now I know that might sound like quite a big effort, but it's not too bad once you know that you can hold down, select copy on that icon and then hold down again and then select paste and that will now paste the exact same configuration options. All you have to do is change the icon, the text and the target and then go apply, apply, apply and it will change. It takes about 20 seconds to do each one. So don't get put off if you think that it's too many icons to do. I did this screen as well as this screen right here in about 15, 20 minutes. And the more you do, the faster you get. So it is quite simple to do. Also, there's the dock icons that you just need to add in the bottom as well. As you can see, I've done them there. But now if you're lazy like me and you don't have time to set up all of these widgets and icons, what I've done for you is saved this SS Launcher theme. I'll upload it that as well all you have to do to apply a SS launcher theme is to go back now go into your options here and you want to go select load you want to select the folder where you've found it and then you just want to select the most recent one that or the one that I've provided for you in the Dropbox file below so just select it apply it and everything should load up as planned just to make sure that you've done it correctly, you also want to go back now, go into your theme and then go load theme. I also provide the theme for you as well, just in case that one doesn't work. And you just got to go load theme and then find, find where you have saved it. And there we have our home screen complete. As you can see, it takes a little bit more effort on SS Launcher, but the result is still exactly the same. And there we have our home screen complete. Don't forget to subscribe to the My Color Screen YouTube channel. It's growing day by day. And don't forget to check out our Facebook, Google Plus and Twitter communities. Thank you very much guys for watching. This is Marco from My Color Screen. And as always, 
don't stop customizing.